All right, so everything is pretty much dry except for that little corner where I put some really thick gesso, so we just won't meta, you know, do anything right there. But I got the ink brush pen, uh, the pen tail, and I'm just gonna do this uh, this electric pole now. This way I get kind of some detail stuff that's going off the page. I like uh, having detail work going off the page. It kind of leads your eye off the page and it's like, hey, what's going on over there? That's just something I like to do. And of course, as always, it's uh, important not to get caught up with how perfect everything is. Because again, this is just a sketchbook we're putting together. Alright. Don't want to get caught in the weeds on, oh, I gotta noodle every page to death. No, this is just getting your ideas down. You know, that's all I care about is just getting some ideas down. The idea is the most important thing. I actually enjoy sketchbook stuff more than anything else. I mean, that's why I'm doing this. Because I think this is where all the fun happens. This is where you can kind of learn the most about who you are as an artist. I just think more people should pay more attention to their sketchbooks. It's the uh, it's the part that you never really see from artists, but that was the stuff that I always liked the most, especially like um, um, people like Da Vinci and Michelangelo. You know, you always see the paintings and all that sort of stuff, but myself I was just like dude I want to see them sketches them drawings that they did and unfortunately with da Vinci so much of the stuff is gone that he did or he did so little all we really have is his sketchbooks um, but yeah that's what I like to look at there we go that's cool let me a little bit I'm gonna get a something a little finer got these little brush pens those are details they're called like sign paint pens or something like that anyway just use this to kind of just a little detail in there not much just a hint I want the big 
enough for this. I'm gonna get this one. Get this one. Oh, that one's like really nice. I want a junky one. I'm looking for a junky brush here. Not that junky. <laughs> so, I think this is it. I don't know. Let me, let me just see here. No, that's a nice one. Well, I thought I had a junky one around here somewhere, but I guess I don't. I like it. That one is done. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so we're on to the next page here. I just wanted to kind of show this up close. I thought this, you know, so you can kind of see it. There you go. Looks cool. There you go. And I'm probably going to do a little bit more work to this page. Um, but I want to get more of this page done so I can see them both together because this is the spread. And um, once I get both of them going pretty good, then you can kind of look at them and say, okay, I need a little something here, a little something there. But for right now, I'm just going to do this. And for some reason, I feel like I need to take my slippers off and get up in my chair. Uh, it just feels like that's what I need to do, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. Uh, okay. Let me get this pencil. I want to kind of bring some of this stuff over into here a little bit. leave it in pencil right now but that looks cool I like that um, cool then we're gonna have some words here that are really big like run I want to put run in right here but I'm not sure how um, I want to write it because not very good at, at lettering at words and stuff like that it's just not my thing I'm really, really bad at it, but I still want it in here, so I'll probably just go ahead and do it. So I'm going to maybe do, I kind of want it to kind of go this direction up and then back down. That's what I'm thinking, something like this. So I might just have like run going this way. So let me. I want it to be kind of big. Okay, I guess I'm going to just do some block lettering here. I'll probably do two, a couple different types of lettering. I might even come back in here and and cut and paste some lettering down. Run! Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it blocked.
Boom. That's cool. And I'll probably paint it and do some inking over it and stuff by the end. But for right now, I just want to kind of pencil stuff in. Maybe do this where I like put some. Maybe put a couple arrows in. They're coming for you. And then I want to put maybe a drawing of skits right here. Necessarily, I don't usually like to erase. Actually, I don't like to erase at all. I ain't gonna erase, but I will. No, that's the same thing. I'll just draw it like this. I, I don't want the drawing of Skitz's head to be at that angle. I want it to have more of a bite and more of an edge to it. So I'm gonna do something like this. Okay. Um. There we go. And then maybe he's looking over his shoulder that way. Like a... Tape it on the bottom, it just keeps moving on me. There we go. But it's like if you run like this, your arm's gonna be way up here, and then we'll have it come down behind here, and stuff like that. And it's basically legging it. Leg it! that and then the body will come back behind here you know just roughing stuff in this is where the fun happens actually he's gonna have a leg <laughs> and then I'm gonna have a big old boot come down here I think that's gonna be cool yep There we go. That's looking like a ton of fun. Sometimes you just got to do a little mark making and then probably get rid of it, but I just feel like it needs some texture down in here. It's 
kind of cool. Uh huh. And then maybe we'll do another big arrow back behind his head, which brings the eye back down to here. Put this big old arrow back here. That way I kind of get a big X up here. That's kind of cool. So we got stuff going this way, stuff going this way. We get some movement across the page. Um, maybe draw in some other little things. Okay, so he's running. Maybe there's... Maybe we'll have like a garbage can flying in the air up here. <laughs> that would be cool. You know, there's... Go flying through an alleyway you're gonna have like busting over garbage cans and stuff so I'm just gonna throw in a garbage can here and that's how that goes It's all dented up and it doesn't really matter. And then you gotta have the lid kind of flying off too. There we go. And the angle. Do it so that you can actually see the handle on it. That'd be neat. There we go. old metal. Even though these metal garbage cans don't really exist anymore, everyone knows what they are. But this comic, this book here has taken place in 2000 and there's still these metal garbage cans around. They're still out there. There's one I know this is kind of hard to see, but, you know, I'm just roughing it in right now. Sometimes it's good just to do some mark making, you know. Again, texture. here run 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 there we go it's kind of a big lump in the paper right there it's hard to write it but that doesn't matter I mean, I feel like it needs to be here now, but maybe once uh, I get to the end of this piece, it'll probably get covered up, but that's okay. I, I don't mind that. A lot of stuff ends up covered up, you know. It's basically just think of this as like your underpainting. 
And that's really what it is anyway. So. But energy, that's the big thing. Energy. Even though I'm not really all over the place. <laughs> but that's all right. Make his hair go everywhere. That shows that he's running. There we go. And then we'll put a little face in there for now. There we go. Alright, now I need to kind of come into this with a little bit of paint and something else. Maybe, uh, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to do it with ink. I'm actually going to ink it all in. And then I'll go back over it with paint over the ink and stuff. That'll kind of give it a little, little boost to kind of differentiate itself. But First, I think I want to kind of tackle this over here. Yeah, let me just pause. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a like, share, subscribe. Also, go on over to the skitscomic.com website. All videos show up there a week before they ever hit YouTube. While you're there, pick you up a comic book, print, or Go ahead and uh, get your original piece of art. Lastly, go over to Indiegogo.com and sign up for the book that you're actually watching being made right now. Thank you and have a great day.